Okay, so to start, to add an outside zipper pocket to the mask keeper bag, you wanna take one of your exterior pieces. I'm using the one where if I place it right side up, you can see the curve going down and around and pointing to my left. Um, and then I have a zipper, it's about five and a half inches long. Doesn't have a pull yet, but it will. Um, I just cut it off my tape. And then I have um, two pieces of fabric cut out for the pocket. And uh, you can see here, I just rounded the edges, but basically they're just four and a half inches by six inches um, rectangles. And what you're going to do with them is you're going to take one of the pieces of fabric and you want to take it and lay it down on top of your exterior piece so that it is right side down. So here's the right side, here's the wrong side. I'm going to lay it right side down and I'm just going to try to center it and you can kind of see that there's about a half inch of space around it. Um, and the next step, we're going to draw a rectangle on top of the wrong side of our fabric pocket. Okay, I'm about an inch and a quarter in from the right hand edge of the exterior piece and I'm just drawing a line down about four and a half inches long and I'm just kind of, um, I think I'm about three quarters inch down from the top of the pocket piece, but you're just kind of um, centered from the bottom and top and it's about four and a half inches long. And now I'm just going to move my ruler over and make a parallel line to that, the same exact length, um, a half inch over to the left. So I should have two lines, four and a half inches long, a half inch apart from one another. Okay, so now you're going to take this to your machine. You should probably pin it in place first. I didn't. Um, I just didn't feel like I needed to, but if you need to, to keep everything secure and steady while you're sewing, pin it in place. And then you're going to um, sew along each of the lines that you just drew, and you're going to make sure that you backstitch at the beginning and the end of each. Okay, I clipped all my threads, and now that everything, those two lines are sewn, I'm going to use my ruler to mark another line right down the center of those two parallel lines. So I'm just doing another line right in the middle of the two. And what I'm going to do after I've done that line is about a half inch in from the top and bottom of each, I'm making a V from that center line up to the corner or up to basically, yes, the corner where you would see where you stopped stitching. I'm making a little V up to those two spots. Okay, this is what it should look like. And I'm now going to get my scissors and I'm going to fold this over so that I can easily cut a little slit starting somewhere in the middle, in that middle line. That just makes it easier to cut through. Now I'm going to take my scissors and cut right along that middle line that I just made and then right along the V, not into the stitching obviously, but as close as you can get to where you stopped your stitching on those two parallel lines. And I'm doing that up here at the top and then I'm gonna, once I finish this, I'm going to turn around and cut all the way to the other V and do the exact same thing. Okay, now that I have my slit and the little V's cut on either end, I'm going to push the line or the pocket fabric through to the other side, to the wrong side of the exterior piece. So I'm pulling it all through, um, and what I'll have at the end is uh, a little rectangle with finished edges all around. Um, and you're gonna need to press this out really well. I like to try to open up the seams and press first, um, and it just makes it sit well, sit better for some reason. So press your seams all around and um, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, a nice uh, clean looking rectangle and now we're gonna get our 
zipper and I'm quickly just gonna put my zipper pull on the zipper. If you use a zipper by the yard, you have to add it like I'm doing. If you just happen to have a zipper, um, it should already have the pull on it. But I'm gonna put the zipper pull on and then we will add the zipper to the exterior piece. Okay, once I have the pull on here, I'm going to put the zipper underneath the exterior piece and just center it, um, making sure that the pull is inside the window right there at the top and making sure that it just looks good all around. And at this point, you would probably want to pin the zipper in place. Um, again, I live on the edge. I add zippers to things all the time and this is a small enough one that I feel like I could just move it right over to my sewing machine and sew it. But you're gonna take yours, you're gonna pin it if you feel like you need to, and then you're going to um, basically top stitch around the rectangle. Back stitch when you start and go all the way around. Um, and just as you get to the end of one line of the rectangle, leave your needle down, turn it, go along the short side, leave your needle down, turn the long side, um, same thing for the short side, and then back where you started again. Just sew a box around the rectangle. Okay, so this is what you should have now. Um, your zipper is sewn into place. You've got a line, you've got a stitching all around the rectangle there. And if you turn it over, this is what you see on the back. You've got the one pocket piece and the zipper sewn on. Now you're gonna take your second pocket piece. You're going to um, match it up right sides together to that other pocket piece. And you are just going to sew around, but this time when you sew around, you are going to leave your opening for turning in this pocket piece instead of the main lining. Uh, when you are finished with the bag. So I'll show you what that looks like. Let me just pin around here. Okay, and I'm going to sew, starting here, going all the way around, all the way around the pocket and back up and leave my opening right where this pin is here. Um, I'm gonna leave that opening there. Um, and when I go to sew this, I'm going to take it to the machine with um, the exterior piece on top like this and fold it out of the way. I want to sew the pocket together. I don't want to sew into the exterior piece at all. So as I sew around this pocket, I'm going to continue to push the exterior piece out of the way. Okay, I'm going to trim and clip, trim my threads, clip my corners, just trim it down a little bit. Um, and then I'll show you uh, what it looks like now that it's sewn. So what I'm going to do is turn this out, turn the edges out 
um, and press these right now so that when I go to sew this up later, it's nice and easy to just sew up. Um, and then at that point, um, from this point on, you're just gonna make the bag as you would normally per the pattern instructions. Everything else is the same, except that when you get to the part where you turn the bag, you're going to turn it through the opening in the pocket, which means you wanna make sure before you turn it that you open up the zipper pocket, make it, um, have it all the way open, and of course that your main zipper is all the way open. Okay, here we are. I am at the last steps here where I've pinned around the bag and I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and sew around. In the original pattern instructions, you need to leave an opening in the lining. But um, as I said earlier, you're not gonna need to do that because you've got this opening in the zipper pocket, the outer zipper pocket. So you're gonna leave that outer zipper open. See, it's open. You're gonna leave your main zipper open. Okay, you might have noticed as I was sewing around the bag that I definitely made sure to push the pocket piece out of the way just so it didn't get caught under the needle at any point and get sewn to the bag. Um, and I just sewed around as I normally would and now I'm going to go and trim off excess zipper, trim the corners, clip the threads, clean it up, and then we will turn it through the zipper pocket. Okay, time to turn the bag. So I'm going to open up that bottom opening in the pocket and just start pushing the entire bag through that opening uh, exactly as you would with the opening in the lining and once I get it pushed through I'm going to use I have a chopstick um, anything that works basically to push out the corners and make sure it's all um, shaped out the right way and then I'm gonna press it and then I'm going to stitch up the opening in the pocket and we're done. It's pretty simple. Um, and you can basically use this technique to add a zipper pocket to any bag that you want to. But I thought I would show you it on this one since somebody on my Facebook page uh, who has the pattern had asked how to add this to it. Closing up the opening in the pocket. Just using my handy dandy little hand ham here to press out the bag and um, once I'm finished with that the bag is completely finished and there you have it this is the zipper pocket on the face mask bag to hold your little mini hand sanitizer bottle the bottle that I have that I tested here in the house was a two ounce bottle and that seems to fit very nicely inside the bag with just a little space around it.